2nd of January 2013, food chain number 7. We's going with a... Uh, accidentally pressing backwards ra rather than solve it. We're going with another 5 star difficulty one, so this pretty much cements my uh, suspicion that we would now pretty much going, be going through all the 5 stars. So, as far as I can see... I think we're going to have to start with either that one or that one, just because there's nowhere else to go from those. So let's try starting here. Uh, I don't really know... Uh, how to go about doing this. Let's try just going one to the right, then one up. Then to the right. And then up, and then left. And now no down. And then I don't want to mess this up because I feel like I'm so close. I am so close. No, uh, but I've messed it up. I think I could probably have done it then if I'd been a little bit more careful. Let's restart. And now we got to see if we can remember where we actually went. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go up there. Then let's go left. Then down. And this is the part where we got to be careful because um, no, I think I've already messed it up at this point. I don't think there is any coming back from this one. So this is a five-star difficulty puzzle, and I'm guessing this is going to be kind of one of those ones that looks kind of easy. Let's try starting at this side, this side, this time. I'm guessing this is going to be one of those that kind of looks kind of easy, uh, but actually is more difficult. Uh, which pretty much is a theme, I think, throughout the uh, course of these food chain puzzles. Let's restart that one, because that was messed up. And that really has been a theme that I kind of have noticed. So either way, uh, we just need to be very, very careful. Like, I'm pretty sure, still, that I'm ready to finish on that one. So that means I've got to kind of second, like, secondly finish on the, uh, that row. Which is, I've got to leave a carrot in that row at least. Uh, somewhere. But it's really just a matter of... Uh, figuring out... What I can take and what I can leave... And I think I've messed this one up as well. Because I'd have to end on that one, which is not possible. Hmm. Good, a nice little challenge. Food chain, again, one of the ones that I don't really know how to solve that well. Uh, it's kind of one that... Uh, I get the feeling probably has either a unique or a semi-unique solution, but still is one that I don't really have uh, grasped. I think I'd, I'd need to go there and then there, because if I go two to the right, then I kind of strand off that little carrot in the top left. And now we need to figure out what we're doing. Uh, I, that was kind of a mistake, I didn't really mean to do that, but uh, this might work out, question mark? No, that definitely won't work out. Ah, I guess who's doing yet more off-screening? This is always fun.
There we go. <laughs> I guess it does kind of matter which one you uh, start with then. Set him up and knock him down. And I was basically trying to do the reverse of that He's exact okay. same route, but uh, it didn't kind of work in reverse, it only kind of worked one way. Interesting! I am learning things about puzzles and that is fantastic. I am fascinated even though nobody else actually is. So, uh, that's pretty much almost up to date from where I'm recording this, but there is just one more video to upload today and then we shall be up to date and it shall be amazing and glorious. Exactly. Wait, sh shut up, shut up. I understand where you're coming from, but it's definitely his false teeth. <laughs> no. Yes. That's not the Yeah, it was. I was there. No, I think I know. I was, I was there. 